Good day, everyone. Welcome back to another fun Arctic and artastic learning experience. Again, this is Sir Lester from my son elementary school, your arts live streaming teacher this morning. And join me for another learning engagement only here in Valenzuela Live, Mape Arts for grade 6. How are you doing? I hope that you are fine and excited to learn again with your classmates and teachers. For now, I wanted to know how many active learners for today. So, for your art attendance, kindly comment down your name, school and section in a comment box. Now, before I continue, let me remind you again of our arts rule. Letter A. Avoid multitasking. Stay focused on the discussion for you to be able to hear every detail that I'm going to discuss. Letter R. React accordingly. Do not send stickers or comments that are not necessary to our discussion. Remember that your teacher and moderator and even other pupils are, wait are watching and reading your comments. Letter T. Take some important notes too. Letter S. Sit comfortably. While watching this episode today, it is just an hour to watch live. So please, give time to learn at this moment. I hope everyone is guided by the arts rule for us to maintain order during our FB Live class. Attention! For today's discussion, we will focus on this MAPI art subskill competencies, which are two. Number one, explain the truism that design principles still apply for any design. Contrast of colors, shapes, and lines produces harmony, whether done by hand or a machine. Number two, demonstrate understanding that digital technology has speeded up the printing of original designs and made it accessible to many as emphasized in t-shirts and in poster designs. Number three, apply concepts in the steps procedure in seal screen printing. And last, number four, Produce our own prints from original design to silk screen printing so as to convey a message or statement. So I think we're ready to get started. Let us continue to make Mappy Arts enjoyable at home. Grade 6, I have a question for you. Have you attended a birthday party where you were asked to pick a design? And then, have it apply it on your face? What do you call to that activity? Key in your answer in the comment section below. Do you know what, again, do you call to that activity? Correct! Most of you answered face painting. You're right! Did you know that? Face painting is another way of print making. Print making is very common nowadays. This is because almost everything, including information for the public, is printed. Print making is a process of creating an art place by using a card screen to transfer ink into another surface. Anything from traditional wood block, print to screen printing t shirt count as print making. Print making can be done in several ways. Some of the simplest ways are we have the direct printing, the block printing, the stencil printing, the frottage printing, and the silk screen printing. In the past, creating customized shirt with your own unique design would be difficult and expensive. But with the help of technology, one can create a personalized design. 
and create a masterpiece through various techniques. And for today, I would like to share with you how the silk screen printing works. But before that, let me share you to all what is screen printing. Screen printing is the process of pressing ink through a stenciled mesh screen to create a printed design. The process is sometimes called serigraphy or silk screen printing. But all of these names refer to the same basic method. Silk screen printing is an effective technique for creating bold canvas, posters, and artworks. But the method can also be used to print fabrics and textiles, so it's great for creating all sorts of custom, like clothing and the products. How do silk, silk screen printing on fabric? There are different ways in silk screen printing in fabric. Let's all watch this demo video for exciting steps. Welcome to Silk Screen Making Demo Video. Let's begin by printing the design. You may choose any design that you want. Here are the materials in Silk Screen Making. First, textile paint, photo emulsion, sensitizer, Hardener, squeegee, mesh screen, t-shirt, and the printed design. Before we apply photo emulsion in the screen, we need to mix the emulsion and the sensitizer. Take note that the ratio should be 90% emulsion and 10% sensitizer or 9 is to 1. Then, stir the mixture thoroughly. We can now apply the photo emulsion on the screen using any scooper or you may use the squeegee. You may pour substantial amount of photo emulsion using a scooper or a squeegee then apply it on the screen. Make sure that you apply photo emulsion evenly on the screen. Then, let the photo emulsion dry using electric fan or a blower. After, reapply the photo emulsion for the second time on the other side. Next, you may prepare the printed design. 
make sure that you center the design on the screen. Using the cooking oil, we will make the unprinted part of the paper transparent and stick the design to the screen. We will expose the screen using the sunlight for about 11 seconds. After, fill the design paper on the screen using the faucet, wet the screen stencil and let the water run through the screen to soften the unexposed part which is also the design. After removing the wet part of the screen and after applying photo hardener, we may now use the stencil and prepare the t-shirt. Spread the paint evenly to the design. Take note, the thicker the deposit of the paint, the better quality of print. Then, you may spread the paint evenly using the squeegee. Lastly, you may hang and let the print dry in the shirt. Now, can you create your own design using silk screen printing? Can you press the like button if you can do so? Wow, thank you! But did you know that using screen printing has advantages? There are different advantages of silk screen printing. Number one, it is a highly cost efficient process for bulk orders because from one screen, you can create design multiple outputs of t-shirts. Number two, is it to print on specified areas? Number three, huge range of printable fabrics such as wood, textiles, glass, and others. Number four, it is top quality output and it has long-lasting prints. Now, let's play a game. What's the name? Can you guess what materials we use in silk screen printing? I will show you the picture and you will identify it by typing your answer below. I will give you 5 seconds to key in your answer. Aren't you ready? Great! Let's have number 1. Please type your answer. Time is up. The answer is... Textile paint. Great! Let's proceed to number 2. What is the picture? Time is up. The answer is screen or the mesh screen. Let's proceed to number three. Time is up. The answer is photo emulsion. Next, number four. Make sure your spelling is correct. The answer is squeegee. It's S Q U E E G E E. Again, it is squeegee. And last, number five. This is the easy one. Time is up. What is the picture? You got it right. It is T-shirt. How many of you got all the correct answers? Can you type your scores? Wow. Good job. Most of you got the correct answers. Thank you for your active participation. But there are a few things that I want you to keep in mind. 
Again, printmaking is the process of creating an art piece by using a carved screen to transfer ink onto another surface. Screen printing is the process of pressing ink through a stenciled mesh screen to create a printed sign. Again, screen printing is an effective technique for creating bold canvases, posters, and artworks. But the method can also be used to print fabrics and textiles. So it's great for creating all sorts of custom clothing and product. Again, congratulations for making it today. Mojo Legends. For our final activity, read each sentence carefully. Identify the correct answer by typing the letter in the comment section. Again, type the, the letter of the correct answer. I will give you 10 seconds to key in your answer. Aren't you ready? Great! Number 1. It is the process of creating an art piece by using a card screen to transfer ink onto another surface. Is it letter A, printing, let, letter B, printmaking, letter C, screen printing, or letter D, face painting? Type your answer. Go! Time is up. The answer is printmaking. Now, let's proceed to number two. It is the process of pressing ink through a stenciled mesh screen to create a printed design. Letter A, painting. Letter B, face painting. Letter C, screen printing. Or letter D, paper printing. Go! Please type your answer. Time is up. The answer is screen printing. Number three. In silk screen printing, we can use this material to place our design. Letter A, stencils. Letter B, paper. Letter C, plastic. Or letter D, cardboard. Comment your answer. Time is up. The answer is letter A, stencils. Next, number four. What are the materials needed in silk screen printing? Letter A, paint, watercolor, screen, squeegee, t-shirt. Letter B, screen, watercolor, design, cardboard. Letter C, Squeegee, screen, t-shirt, watercolor, paint, or letter D, paint, squeegee, design, screen, t-shirt. Comment your answer. You got it right. It is letter B. Paint, squeegee, design, screen, and the t-shirt. Last, number five. Silk screen printing is a fun way to create a work of art in a fabric. Is it A, true, or B, false? Go! Time is up. Definitely the answer is letter A. Excellent. Yeah! 
for your homework activity, you will make a simple design in honor to our frontliners. Make use of the digital software available on your computer and apply the techniques you learned in silk screen printing. You may print your design and have it evaluated by your teacher. I hope you've learned a lot from this live stream. If there are parts of this discussion that you are missing, you can always go back and return to it. Remember to join on your follow-up discussion tomorrow for more questions and activities from your teacher. I'd also to remind you to look through your Mappy Arts Grade 6 self-learning modules. The lesson for today is all about still screen printing of your module. Again, this is your arts teacher, Sir Mark Lester E. Lisma, leaving you with a saying, you cannot spell heart without art. See you on our next live streaming. Thank you. Enjoy learning online. Until our next meeting, have a great day.